a course in about two, two and a half hours, you say? No, no, one, <laughs> one, one fifty-six. <laughs> Adding minutes to your miles. Just tell us what it was like at the start. It was a bit confusing, really, because we didn't get any information. So we were standing there, we couldn't hear any monitors or anybody shouting or anything like that. So we didn't know what was happening. And we, somebody said they'd gone on BBC website and said, oh, this race is cancelled. So then we all were like, well, what's going on? Um, and then the next thing we heard boos and clapping and then everybody just set off. And one of my friends who was in the elite runners said that they'd set off. They told them to take the numbers off. They set off um, and there were a police barricade. So they just ran round it and carried on. So they ran it at their own risk, really. So the police were trying to stop the race from starting. Yes, yeah. yes, from what we were told. But everybody just set off. And that's the problem that when you run a race like this, although I know it weren't a race today because it was cancelled, that you're, you're putting your own life at risk, really, for collapsing. So and there were a lot that had collapsed around the course. That must have been quite worrying. You say it's, it was above the number you'd normally expect to see. I thought so, definitely. Um, and we 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 run a lot, don't we? Um, so we know the hazards of not having, you know, being fueled up and having enough liquids on board. Um, and I think a lot of people they've, they've took. It might be the only race they do all year, and they thought, well, we'll do it anyway, which is wrong, really. You know, you should take your own safety.